Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This week I'm going to be using three of my flexi fingers from the flexi hand to show you guys how I encapsulate glitter in hard gel, which has been a much requested video. Um, if you're a beginner, um, I would highly recommend you getting one of these hands or even just one of the fingers. Um, as you can see, they come with sort of, um, you can pull the nail tips out to practice on. They take just normal tips, so they're really good for practicing. Um, but just to sort of talk you through some of the products I'm going to be using. This is Marianne from Bling Line, which is a beautiful purple color gel. Um, I'm also going to be using, um, this is, well, uh, the fiber gel that, uh, that I'm going to be using today. And I love this gel. It uh, adds extra strength. It's really easy to find. It's such a lovely gel to work with. Um, I'll also be using this fine glitter from Nail Sugar, obviously, called Orchid. It is beautiful. The such a lovely shade of purple. And I'll also be using Melody, which is a holographic, chunky um, glitter. It's another beauty. And I will also be encapsulating as well, too, these uh, little dots, which is Girls Night Out Pot of Dots. Um, so we've got some really pretty glitters there. So... To start off, um, what I would usually do is on top of my base layer, I'm going to put a layer of colour. So we're just kind of going to pretend that the nail that we have in there at the moment is pretty much our base layer of gel that we would file down to. So I would put um, a layer of colour that would complement the glitter on top of that and then pop that into the lamp to cure. Okay, so now that we're out of the lamp and we have cured our colour, which is so beautiful, how pretty is Marianne? Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, put a very, very thin layer, very thin clear layer of hard gel down. And I'm working literally in the finest layers because all we kind of need is a really thin layer to adhere the glitter onto that's what we're going to sort of cure the glitter onto is that really thin layer so um work really thin guys and i'm just going to get a little homemade scoop that i have and just sprinkle that glitter all over the nail making sure that i have everywhere covered as much as possible and then just tapping off the excess before curing in the lamp for a double cure Okay, so now that we have Orchid all cured onto that really thin layer, um, what I've done is I've brushed off the excess. And what I'm gonna go in now with is a slip layer. And again, I sort of put this on uh, quite thin as well too. I like to sort of work as thin as I can. And the only reason that I'm putting this layer on is that the encapsulation layer, um, I find goes on a lot easier because gel follows gel. Um, so it can be a little bit more tricky if you're just encapsulating the gel over the glitter. It can be done, but this will make life a lot easier if you put a slip layer down. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just making sure I have everything covered before curing in the lamp. Okay, so now moving on to encapsulating chunky glitter. Um, we're going to pretend that the nail and the flexi finger already has a base layer of clear gel on that we can file down to whenever we are changing the design. So again, I'm just going to put a, a nice sort of floating coat on of that Marianne because obviously I'm working with um, a purple chunky. So uh, I thought that this color would again just blend in perfectly. So I'm just going to put that layer on before curing in the lamp. Okay, so while our nail is curing in the lamp, I'm just gonna put a blob of hard clear gel down on a bit of form backing paper. If you have a mixing palette, you can use it too, obviously. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some of that lovely Melody glitter and I'm just kind of gonna add a bit to the gel. And then I'm going to sort of scrape my, my little sort of scraper device thing, my little mixer along and just kind of really mush that in. And I kind of find that if you use like more of a scraping and then a pushing motion, um, it just works so much better. So 
once that's all mixed and my nail is cured, I just lift a blob and I kind of set it about two thirds of the way up the nail, sort of towards the cuticle area. And I just kind of like almost roll it on and sort of get it pushed up a little bit more now, sort of towards again, towards the cuticle. And then what I do is I start to sort of pull very gently, just kind of like work the product down the nail. And once I get to the free edge, if there's any excess, I just kind of lift it off and put it up again towards the cuticle. So I'm sort of using what I have on the nail to fill in as many bits as I can. So yet again, you know, I sort of gently pat down some of the glitter and whatever comes off the free edge, if I need to, you know, sort of fill in around the cuticle, I will do that. And then I tip some of the raw glitter onto, again, onto the, the backing form. And I just lift a few bits and I kind of start setting them, just sort of very gently pressing them here and there onto the gel, just to sort of fill in little bits and really kind of make an impact with that glitter and any nice sort of chunky bits that I want to show. So basically as simple as that. Once I'm happy then with my glitter placement, it will go into the lamp for a double cure. Okay, so now that we're all cured and out of the lamp, I'm just going to go ahead and put my slip layer on yet again. This slip layer though, I tend to work it in a little bit more just because we have the slightly larger, sort of chunkier particles and I just want to make sure that the gel sort of really gets in round those. So I'm just kind of working that in a little bit more before going in with my encapsulation bead which you'll see me just applying now and it just makes everything so effortless just being able to walk the gel just so easy down the nail making sure everything is totally encapsulated before curing in the lamp okay so moving on now to encapsulating glitter dots or shapes um, what I'm going to do is yet again the uh, the nail that's in the flexi finger that is our base layer and then I'm going to go in with the layer of colour. Again I went with Marianne, you're going to see a lot more of that beautiful colour because we are sort of working with the dots obviously this time. So I'm going to put that layer of colour on before curing in the lamp. Okay, so now that we're out of the lamp, we're now ready to pop our little dots on. And I just love this mix of dots. Um, so again, you can see how tiny of a bead I'm actually using. Um, I'm working so, so, so fine. So again, I'm just going to put that really thin layer down um, just over the nail. Uh, before going in with a little dotting tool and kind of just randomly lifting the dots. The good thing about this here is that you can kind of place them as and where you want to. I find dots really easy to work with and um, they, they give such a lovely effect. So as you can see, I'm just going in here now. Sometimes you just kind of like dip the end of the dotting tool into a tiny, tiny bit of gel and just kind of lift and place them as and where I want them before curing in the lamp. Okay, so now that we're ready to encapsulate, I don't actually put a slip layer down whenever I'm working with dots um, in this way because um, I just find them easy enough to encapsulate. So again, I just put that bead down and walk it down the nail, making sure that everything's covered um, before curing in the lamp.
it's top cooking time so now that our nails are all ready to go they've all been filed and buffed um i'm now going in with some gorgeous bling line top coat so enjoy the top coat cam Okay guys, so there we go. There is our three super sparkly nails all finished and encapsulated. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it helped some of you out there who have requested this here. Um, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Have a wonderful week ahead and I will see you all again next week with another video.